the all elite Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, Duval County, the all elite shit show in Jacksonville. So yes, that's pretty much what it was in 2021. An all elite shit show led by Shahid Khan and his right hand man, Tony Khan man, the owner of AEW and along with their one and done head coach, Urban Meyer. Yes, Urban Meyer, the famed college football head coach with, what was it, Ohio State, or, well, yeah, Ohio State. So, they hired Urban Meyer in 2021, and he was pretty controversial from the get-go, whether it was in training camp, throughout the season. Um, they did get their coveted star quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, with the number one overall pick, but they just couldn't save themselves the embarrassment off the field. They were very bad in 2021. And Urban Meyer was pretty much the whole story of this of that season. He was always in the headlines, whatever he was, hoarding at restaurants after games, kicking kickers, and fighting with other players. And Shahid Khan actually finally had enough. He finally had a gut in him to fire him well before the season ended. All the like it didn't even take him like the end of the season to fire him. Because enough was enough. So the Jags did end the season three and fourteen. But, you know, they kind of ended it on a high note, despite, you know, having a clown show literally in their stadium. But nonetheless, they did manage to beat the Indianapolis Colts um, in a technical blowout and cost them a playoff spot. So overall, still, the Jaguar season as a whole was pretty awful. It's pretty goddamn awful, just like, you know, their all elite shit show. So for the Jaguars in 2022... Well, you got to try to build confidence around Trevor Lawrence, but to do that, you got to get him some help. You had to got, stop being cheap and get him some damn help. So who do you call to get him that damn help? Well, you bring in a former Super Bowl winning head coach who managed to turn around Carson Wentz and then help Nick Fails, F-A-I-L-S, but he wasn't Nick Fails when he won that Super Bowl, enter former Philadelphia Eagles head coach Doug Peterson. So, Doug Peterson turned Carson Wentz around, nearly made him an MVP candidate before he got hurt, and then he he transformed Nick Foles into Super Foles and became a Super Bowl MVP. Yes, beat Tom Brady. So, you bring in Doug Peterson, and then in the offseason, you re-sign your key left tackle, Cam Robinson, and center Tyler Shatley, so two key pieces off the offensive line. And then... This, this, this things get weird. Things get really weird for Jacksonville. They have some of the most money to spend in the offseason, but they spend it on we on weird things. They add receiver Christian Kirk from the Arizona Cardinals. They receiver Zay Jones from the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, guard from the Washington Commanders, Brandon Sheriff. Corner Darius Williams for the LA Rams. Tight end Evan Ingram from the New York Giants. Defensive end, Arden Key from the San Francisco 49ers, which, by the way, I kind of do like um, for Jacksonville because Arden Key was a pretty good player for San, for San Francisco. Now, they did lose Miles Jack, a key piece, one of the last pieces of, of Saxonville back in 2017 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They also lost DJ Clark, their receiver, to the Detroit Lions. And they also lost guard Andrew Norwell to the Washington Commanders. So... They added a bunch of people, and they also lost a bunch of people. Now, in their draft is where they did their work, especially in the first round. With their first overall pick, they picked defensive end Trayvon Walker. I mentioned in my filthy casual preview of the Jacksonville Jaguars that I like Trayvon Walker for his raw athleticism, but again, doesn't always translate to the NFL. You have to have the key um, assets. You have to have the key skills. His run blocking was kind of weak, so it's all about development for him. They also selected a linebacker out of Utah, Devin Lloyd, and a center from Kentucky, Luke Fortnier. So I'm not sure why. Maybe they needed a backup center. So maybe that was why they got a center. The biggest problem for Jacksonville in that offseason, though, was that's why I said it got weird. They overspent. They overpaid <laughs> for potentially middling returns. Like Christian Kirk was a wide receiver three in Arizona in that offense with Kyler Murray. And... What makes you think that he's going to suddenly make Trevor Lawrence, like, beautiful? What's going to make him, like, great? 
Christian Kirk was it's a sol- he's a solid receiver, but he's not a he he's not a top receiver that flashes like elite route running or great great hands. At least not yet. And Zay Jones, like he was the fourth option. He was the fourth option behind uh, Brian Edwards, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller in Las Vegas. Like, and you overpaid him. Like, really, <laughs> really? Like, man. But you know, I did. I kind of did like the pick with Trayvon Walker, though. Um, I he's going to be a he's going to be a project. He's going to be a project for Jacksonville, but. Um, you know, Arden Key is there. He he's a nice pickup for Jack. He's a nice cheap pickup for Jacksonville for one year. Um, you build that pass rush with Josh Allen and and the others. Now, if as long as they develop him correctly, and he picks up on whatever they're teaching him, um, of course it has to be correct. Then who knows? Maybe we get a very good tandem, a very good pass rushing trio over there in Duval. So that could be a very dangerous uh, front there. Now the offensive line, um, there's there there are some decent things going on there. You got Cam Robinson coming back. Um, you did get uh, a good center rotation with Shantley and Fortnier. Um, the offensive line is turning out to be pretty okay. Um, so we'll see if it turns out to be better this year than years past, uh, especially last year. So for Jacksonville, I mean, yes, they overspent, but I mean. Who knows if it if those overspending, the overpaying, will will actually be beneficial to them this coming season. So for Jacksonville, they got two key games. Yeah, it's just two because well, they're frankly still terrible. They got two key games coming up this season, and that's two until proven otherwise. The week two game at home, their home opener against the Indianapolis Colts, kind of a revenge game for Indianapolis, but. You know, for Jacksonville, they always play well <laughs> against the Indianapolis Colts, whether it's early in the season or later in the season at home. So better watch out for Jacksonville in that game against Indianapolis. And then week four, you go to Philadelphia to face the Eagles in a revenge game for Doug Peterson for firing him in 2020. So Doug Peterson gets to return home. Who knows? He gets a same innovation or he gets booed by Um, that Philadelphia faithful. So we'll see what happens. So, of course, the biggest question is going into the season for the Jaguars, the all elite Jacksonville Jaguars, is is Doug Peterson going to be the guy that improves Trevor Lawrence? Now, Trevor Lawrence is okay. He's a, he's a, a above average quarterback. Can he be taken to that next level by Doug Peterson? He did it with Carson Wentz in 2017 and yes things kind of went downhill after that and then of when Carson Wentz got injured he took Nick Foles all the way to the top he became Super Foles magically so is Doug Peterson going to be that guy is the front office is Shahi Khan going to allow him to improve and develop Trevor Lawrence in 2022 hopefully Hopefully. Now, who's going to be the the top option? Who is this even legit receiving receiving core in Jacksonville? You got Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, Jamal Agnew, Marvin Jones. Like, you, you have your four receivers, but who's going to be the preferential option here for Trevor Lawrence? That remains to be seen because you have so many mouths to feed, but at the same time, it's like, are there any good ones? Are there any good ones? So for Jacksonville, they're still a a pretty pretty bad team. Um, sure, they had some okay pickups in for agency, and their draft was all right. But you know they still got a long way to go. Doug Peterson has his hands full, so I imagine they they go five wins max because there's still a lot of holes in this roster. Like you don't really have a legit receiving option yet until. They play, they start playing games. Um, the offensive line is starting is on paper okay. It's it's solid. That pass rush that, that could be interesting though. I like that pass rush can be interesting with Josh Allen, uh, Trayvon Walker, and and Arden Key. I think that pass rush in Jacksonville could be uh, very interesting there. Um, the secondary, maybe 
That, that, that could also be interesting. Maybe the defense could be the key for Jacksonville 2021. But until otherwise, until otherwise, this is going to be the same Jacksonville Jaguars team just with uh, two more wins. Um, and they're just going to be the same all elite shit show that they were in 2021. So, see what happens.